Um, so one of the main criteria, criteria for selecting these drugs is lack of competition. Um, but for at least one of these 10 drugs, there is actually going to be a competitor coming into the market before 2026. Um, so given that, I mean, why does the government still need to come in on top of that for that drug? And is that a waste of effectively a slot you know, early on here that could be put toward a drug that actually doesn't have competition? The Inflation Reduction Act specifies the criteria for selection. Um, that criteria is highest drug spend, also that the drugs need to be on the market for nine years or longer. Um, so there will be also additional drugs, as noted. This is the first, uh, this is the first 10. There will be 15 next year and 15 after that. So drugs that haven't made it on this list may well be on uh, in the future. And for particular particularities about the specifications of selection, uh, I would I would refer you to CMS. Do you have any concerns that, uh, given the lead time here, that the pharmaceutical industry will adjust its pricing? to sort of compensate for an anticipated reduction. Uh, you talked about uh, faster than inflation in certain instances, but do you get a sense that broader price inflation will happen uh, anticipating this? Well, this the the selection of the drugs are on, on current price. So that will be the source of the negotiation back and forth. You know, if, if pharma looks at price negotiation and says, we don't want to be on the list, so we're going to lower our prices, that's all to the better. That would be a way in which this, this law is actually having the important effect of lowering drug prices across the board. Let me just take you back to what Chris was asking about first, and, and that is, again, the delay as to why do we have to wait till 2026 to see these changes? Well, the Inflation Reduction Act specified that, but I understand the uh, the frustration that can be out there on this topic. It's been 30 years that people have been trying to get Medicare drug negotiation. I will say it is this president, President Joe Biden, that actually delivered it. There is a year-long process. We will have the drug prices out by September of 2024. It takes time to implement, but uh, Americans today are seeing lower drug prices from the Inflation Reduction Act, from insulin, and in other arenas, and uh, we look forward to the process being set by which we have lower and lower drug prices year to year. So let, let me ask you, since it was set by the law, for those who weren't paying attention when the law was being put together, was delaying it until 2026 a big sticking point for Republicans or others? Why didn't the White House push to have it happen sooner? Well, we are, uh, we, were, we are excited by the fact that we are beginning this process and that we will have these 10 drugs and then 15 drugs after that and then 15 drugs after that and 20 drugs year to year. Um, so we think it is important that these drugs, uh, that this negotiation will take place over this year and that in September of 2024, people will see this price. I will also note that when this price is public, um, other, you know, other insurers can look at that price. Um, it is in many arenas. Uh, private insurance has looked at CMS and Medicare as a leader in how to determine prices. So it may well be that insurers use this the price negotiated as prices that they use for that they use in their own insurance models to affect the private sector.